What's up guys, welcome to Victims and Villains. If you guys are new to this channel, we create content discussing mental health through pop culture. My name is Captain Estalda and today we're talking about Little Richard, I Am Everything. Whether you're a subscriber here or not, or you have uh, listened to the horror podcast that I co-host with my friend Mark, you guys know that I love rock music, I love metal music, and... You really wouldn't have it without the pioneer of Little Richard amongst a handful of other guys. And I grew up on listening to Little Richard and I really haven't listened to him in probably close to 15 years and I am so excited to talk about this documentary. So Lisa Cortez basically wrote and directed this fantastic documentary exploring the life, legacy, career, and importance of Little Richard. I can't stress to you how much I loved this movie. Right from the get-go, I knew that I was going to be emotionally wrecked before the first frame even stopped. When I saw that CNN Films and HBO Max produced this movie along with Magnolia Pictures, I knew that I was going to be wrecked. Uh, Roadrunner was a film that they did a couple years ago, and we did a podcast on it. Links in the description. Just absolutely walked out of that theater just crying. I have never watched anything Anthony Bourdain. I've never read anything of his, and that just completely wrecked me. What I like about here is how it just kind of goes through these like different phases of Little Richard's career. And starting back at his humble beginnings at a time not only where he's forming a brand new genre of music, but what Cortez does here is also brings this narrative forward about what it was like to not only be a black man, but to be someone that was very open and honest about their sexuality. In a time that was primarily, if not almost exclusively, a heterosexual normative. And I love how the film kind of showcases and interviews people that he inspired to really be get in touch with themselves and kind of just throw a middle finger to society, what the societal expectations were, and really kind of carved out their own personality. I think it's definitely something we're going to talk about here in just a few moments for the mental health portion of this. But then, of course, it's also at the same time kind of explores the evolution of rock as a genre. Not necessarily the way that Little Richard's contribution to it was, but how it evolved over time. And how it kind of is the way that we know it is, is because thanks to part to Little Richard. My aforementioned comment about his race and sexuality also kind of yielded this decades-long criminal overlook of his contribution to the music and the film also kind of explores how that had an impact on his mental health which as a mental health advocate I really connected very deeply with and this movie with that as its core really kind of just draw, drew me to tears and really surprised me in a number of ways that I was just not expecting. I love how this documentary not only explored Little Richard's rise and his importance to the rock genre, but also at the same time uh, how he experimented in multiple different uh, genres of music. I thought that was fascinating. I'm going to kind of keep this review a little bit shorter because this is a documentary. I don't really want to spoil anything for anyone else that hasn't seen this movie. This movie comes to theaters and VOD beginning April 21st. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, here's my official rating. On the Rorschach rating scale, Little Richard, I Am Everything, it's easily a 5 out of 5. I think to give this movie anything less than a 5 out of 5 feels uh, just like a criminal offense and undermines uh, not only Little Richard's contribution to music as a whole, which the film explores, but also at the same time, uh, it just completely overlooks a lot of the deeply emotional and profound themes that are not only timeless to when he first started, but also to the to be the way that we're still feeling it here in 2023. And on that note, let's talk about mental health. If you guys are new to our content, this is the part of the video where we examine 
uh, a theme of mental health from the film which we're reviewing, talk about it for a few moments in the hopes to deconstruct the stigma surrounding mental health. I don't know about you, but I've definitely fallen into the trap of kind of existing to what society views as beautiful or, in my case, masculine and just kind of really trying to fit into the social norms to be socially accepted. And I think Little Richard was onto something when he kind of, like I said earlier in the film, just kind of threw a middle finger to those expectations because let me tell you something, it don't feel happy. It's not a healthy place for mental health to constantly chase after fashion fads or trends because fashion's always evolving and society and popular culture is always changing. There's an episode of South Park where Kyle is essentially chasing the fads of the time and is always kind of one fad or two behind and it just kind of has creates this immense sadness within him. And from someone that was once there, I can 100% assure you that it has a lasting impression on your mental health. Not only how you view yourself, but also how you love yourself, how you accept yourself, and also how you examine your self-worth. There's a point in the movie where Little Richard is accepting a award of merit. The film doesn't address what award show it's for, but basically it's the equivalent of like a lifetime achievement is the way that I took it. And you can't help but just like cry because this that award was in 19, the late 90s, and he got his start and God sure started like shaping the sound of rock in the late 50s, early 60s. And finally, there's just this moment of clarity and acceptance for him that he has been chasing and part of the uh his acceptance speech that the film kind of showcases is i'm i'm paraphrasing of course but it's it's just him basically saying finally i'm seen and i think that's also another valid point of being your own person and being happy in your own skin is being in a skin that you are going to be 100 percent comfortable around because being true to yourself and being a, a true individual and having an identity that you love and that you're at peace with will give you the right community that will thrive your mental health. My 30 years of existence here, I've been told that I'm going to hell because I have tattoos, because I listen to heavy metal music, because I watch horror movies, because the friends that I keep, because of the fact that I paint my nails, wear makeup, and I've also worn women's clothing in the past. Here's the thing. All of those things are who I am and that's who I'm comfortable with. And it took me a long time to actually kind of be comfortable in that and have all of that and still be a Christian is it's kind of just, again, just I'm a weird amalgamation. But I'm telling you that as an encouragement, much like Little Richard, to be true to yourself because you never know really at the end of the day the mental health uh, impacts it's going to have. So stay true to yourself and stay beautiful. If you or someone you know is currently struggling with suicide, addiction, self-harm, depression, anxiety, or any variation thereof, check out the links in the descriptions below to check out our mental health resource library. Little Richard, I Am Everything opens up in theaters and VOD beginning this Friday, April 21st, wherever you guys get your films from Magnolia Films, CNN Films, and HBO Max. Make sure that you guys click the links in the descriptions below. Check out uh, more, more content from us, whether it's movie reviews or our podcast network, as well as links to our social media and Patreon and the subscribe button below. Have a good night. Woo!